Hi, I'm Adrian Warnock. I blog over at adrianwarnock.com and I'm part of the uh, leadership team of Jubilee Church in London, but I'm here at New Word Alive in North Wales uh, and I'm actually in Terry and Wendy Virgo's chalet and Terry and Wendy very kindly agreed to join us uh, for a short interview about uh, the conference and just, well, whatever else we decide to talk about, I guess. So thanks for joining us, Terry and Wendy. Thanks, Adrian. Good to see you. Yeah, it's great that you um, are able to find some time to chat with us and to just be here at this conference. I just wonder, how have you found the conference so far? Well, we've really enjoyed the opportunity for fellowship with uh, a number of people we wouldn't uh, normally see. Uh, First time I've ever met uh, Don Carson, and it's been magnificent to listen to him. John Piper, inspiring again. Good to make new friends, people whose names I've known, like Wallace Ben. First time I've got to meet him. It's been an excellent time, thank you. Good, excellent. And what about for you, Wendy? Yes, um, I wasn't quite sure what I was coming to, but was uh, relieved to find this, it's set in an absolutely beautiful location, but also have so enjoyed, especially Don Carson and uh, John Piper's messages, really blown away by their passionate delivery of theology. Yeah, it's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. So, Terry, um, there will be a few people watching this who perhaps won't know who you are. Um, I mean, I find that amazing. You probably don't find that amazing, but um, people do watch this in the States and all sorts of places. So I wonder if you could just, in your own words, really talk a little bit about what it is you do uh, with your life when sure. you're not you know, in a chalet in Wales. <laughs> yes, which is pretty rare for my year. Yeah. Yes, I'm based in Brighton on the mm. south coast of England, and I'm an elder of a church there called Church of Christ the King. And uh, from there I travel out with New Frontiers, which is a group of churches that works into about 40 nations now. In the UK, we have about 220 churches, and then globally, we're pressing on towards 600 churches. So I travel a lot. Later this month, we'll be in Russia at a Pastors and Wives conference, and then we'll be in the States in May and June. Uh, We'll be in France with our Pastors and Wives there from the New Frontiers churches. So we travel quite a lot. You say we, is that the two of you or just you or sometimes a mixture of both? Uh, We have five children who all now married and left home and we often travel together now. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. Yes. Excellent. So um, what what does Wendy get up to then uh, when when she's not holding your bags? I hope you hold the bags for her, do you? (laughs) Yes, travelling does take up a a lot of our time, but... um, When I'm at home, I love to be involved in things like Alpha courses, but increasingly I'm not able to do that. But I do write for various Bible notes, such as um, CWR and uh, Day by Day, um, the Bible Reading Fellowship, um, the Scripture Union I've written for as well. I I speak at Ladies' Days around the country, and uh, I'm also engaged on writing a book at the moment. Very interesting. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Or well, sworn it's, to it's really well. Yeah, perhaps it is a little bit premature, but it is. Um, it's it's about the effect that women can have in the church for good or bad. Oh, very good. That sounds really interesting. Mm. I look forward to uh, reading that, no doubt, at some point in the future. <laughs> now you're going to have to finish it. You said it online. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yes. There we go. So um, obviously, both of you are incredibly busy, travelling an awful lot all around the place. You know, looking after all these churches. What made you decide to accept the invitation to come here? And I know you've been involved with UCCF for quite a while as well, haven't you? On, on, is it some kind of advisory board you're on with them? Or? Yes, the invitation came from UCCF. I've made a very good friend in Richard Cunningham. He's a fine guy, I like him. Uh, he asked me to be involved with UCCF, and then uh, having agreed to that, uh, I was then invited to speak at their Leaders Forum a year or two back and had a very happy time working through Romans and their morning Bible studies um, and I've enjoyed the fellowship. I'm so glad that they've embraced us. We come from a charismatic perspective. Our church life is charismatic. Uh, UCCF have not been famously charismatic but they're making a statement of openness and I've been received uh, very warmly both in their forum which I'm due to speak in again next year 2009 and then here as well. And so it's an interesting coming together of people who love scripture, love doctrine, love the truth of God. And it's great to have Stuart Townend here and Fat Fish who mm. come from my home church and we're very proud of them. Yeah. Stuart's written some magnificent songs, as have Fat Fish. And I know they're, they're welcomed around the world. And uh, 
it's great to be together with them here as well. So we've enjoyed that. Yeah, we're singing all the same songs as well, aren't we? It's, it's interesting, those divisions, at least in terms of songs, that just don't seem to be there anymore, really, do they? I was fascinated when I was invited to speak at the Keswick Convention uh, pre- probably three years ago now. Mm-hmm. And again, uh, I thought as the worship took place before I spoke, I think three quarters of the songs we sung had been written by people in my home church. Yes. I felt remarkably at home. What is it about the seawater down there? You just <laughs> seem to keep producing singers, don't you? Yeah, some great songwriters. Songwriters are great yeah. for it. Mm. So, uh, I guess, you know, that church is a sort of resource church, really, isn't it? I guess that would be one way of, of describing it, in terms of you've got all kinds of different people going out and, and serving in various different ways from there, haven't you? I think David Fellingham originally was with us from the beginning when we started our church. We started with 38 people back in about 1980, and uh, David joined us quite early on with tremendous musical skills and uh, devotion to God, started writing songs that became very famous, and then others joined us, like Stuart Town and Paul Oakley, then his own son, Nathan Fellingham, came through writing songs, Kate Simmons, more recently Simon Brading. In fact, we're starting a worship school again this coming autumn, oh, great. and uh, we trust people will want to book in and come for the uh, monthly uh, programme that will take place through this coming year. It's great, yeah. So, I mean, coming here, I guess we're joining hands with people that perhaps years ago you'd never have imagined being able to join hands with, isn't it? I mean, would that be a fair way of describing it? Yes, it's true. Uh, for me, I, when I was first converted from completely non-Christian background, my sister had joined All Souls, Langham Place, and uh, I first responded to the Gospel publicly uh, there, and... Uh, so met John Stott on that day. So my roots go back to an evangelical context and while I was at college listening to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. So one feels so at home with these truths. Then our experience of the Holy Spirit uh, opening up the gifts of the Spirit in our church life uh, meant we're certainly not cessationists. We believe in the presence and the power of God. But we've never abandoned these great evangelical truths which we greatly love. And have always preached uh, during this time of enjoying the presence of the Spirit as well and seeing people being healed and prophecies and things of that order, so that we can find a very happy combination of those things. Yeah, I think, um, you know, people are sort of almost feeling that it's a, a new thing, this combination of reformed and charismatic. And I guess it's newly prominent, but it's, it's something that's been around, I guess, what you're saying all along, is that right? I mean, well, I think I've always held that position mm. uh, going back many years. Uh, Joel Edwards, who uh, has been the Evangelical Alliance leader for some years, said he felt that we in New Frontiers in England were fairly unique for being famously charismatic and famously reformed theologically. He felt we were unusual, but with friends right across the board, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm very grateful for that. Good. Thanks. Mm.